Hey guys, Raven Knight here, and I, today, right now I'm releasing a video mostly just to clarify something that I want to get out there. So, those of you who saw my live stream this morning, I was watching the Warriors Den live stream where they revealed Year 5 Season 4 of For Honor. Now, there was a lot good in the video, there was a lot good, and I'm really looking forward to the next season coming out on December 9th. But one of the things that happened in the video, and y'all noticed this, was they gave a little hinting trailer about the new hero coming on January 27th. And I hate to say it, but I, I was disappointed. And I was vocally disappointed. Many of y'all noticed that. In fact, I got a lot of messages in chat and in comments saying, why are you upset? Isn't, a, isn't the hero decent? And they are. They are decent. But let me explain fully why I was disappointed. If you watch the trailer, you see um, this ship appear. And the first thing I think is, ooh, warriors from China have arrived the Wu Lin have a new hero because this looked very Wu Lin to me. And then I realized that it's a Wu Lin pirate. Now, at first I was disappointed because I was like, oh, I kind of wanted a Xi'an here. I wanted a cool general or kind of a Mulan style character. But no, we didn't get that. We got a Chinese pirate. And as I thought about it, I realized, you know what? That's not so bad. In fact, someone in the comments pointed this out to me and I'd thought about it myself. Maybe this is a reference to Cheng Ye Xiao or Cheng Shi, who was a Chinese pirate leader who was active in the South China Sea. I think in the early 19th century, I think around 1800 to 1810, something like that. She was leader of a huge pirate fleet called the Red Flag Fleet, I believe it was called. Don't quote me on that. I probably got it wrong. I need to go back and re-research this and really verify. But that could be the reference for why the um, sails are red. Maybe that's what that is. And if that's the case, that's an awesome reference. She was a really cool figure, a really cool historical woman figure that you could base a hero off of. So that's awesome. I am 100% down with that. A cool Chinese warrior woman to kick off a new season. The problem is what I saw after that. It was, um, I thought the theme, since this is going to be Wulin, it's going to be Wulin Hero, guys. I thought, so now the theme should reflect that, but it really didn't. It was littered with stereotypical Pirates of the Caribbean style, Western 17th century and 18th century pirates. You know, eye patches, peg legs, tricorn hats, um, sliding down ropes, swashbuckler style, you know, that, that kind of thing. Even the minions, all except for the samurai, look like they are pirates of some variety. And I, I didn't like that. I don't like that they did that. And the reason why is because I really wanted the theme of the season to match the new coming hero. For Take Kyoshin, for example. Kyoshin's a great example. When Kyoshin's trailer dropped, it was mysterious. We didn't know who the hero was, but we had a little bit to go on. We The hero spoke in Japanese, so we knew it had a Japanese... Um, background there were japanese shrines on the trailer when the new event game mode happened it was in a samurai map and we were fighting samurai style demons or monsters we could tell this is a feel for samurai mysticism it felt right the theme of the season matched the new hero coming right now just starting off we have a new hero which is a cool badass chinese pirate queen and we're getting Yar Har Pirates. We're getting the Pirates of the Caribbean. We're getting the Jack Sparrow treatment. And I don't like that. It feels goofy. It feels silly. This feels like a, you know what this feels like to me? This feels like a Halloween event game mode. That's what this all looks like to me. With the, if you look at the maps that they showed, you see pirates kind of sitting around on the map, drinking mead and in the marketplace, you know, all that kind of stuff. And that doesn't, it feels silly to me. It feels kind of jokey. And I'm like, I wanted to take this hero more seriously. I want to take this theme more seriously. But it's very hard to when they don't seem to want to take it seriously. The theme does not match very well with the hero. And that disappointed me because it's making me wonder, well, how much care are they putting into this new hero? Are they going to make them really cool or make them kind of a meme? Are you making them badass or are you making them just kind of your stereotypical pirate? I want to believe that they will treat her or him, whichever, with respect. I want to say it's a her because that would keep in line with the theme that they're going with. I want to see this hero and be proud of it. I think that there's a lot cool they could do with a character like like uh, Cheng Shi, like uh, the pirate queen of China. But right now, all I'm seeing is a smorgasbord of you know, Jack Sparrow style pirates. And 
I'm just not a fan of that. If you're going to do pirates like that and for honor, why not do it during the flood event when the sea was kind of a big deal and have it as a temporary event game mode where you had pirates like this? I would be okay with that as an event game mode, but not when you're building up the theme for a brand new hero on the way. When Kyoshin was being hinted at, we saw ghostly figures running up and down the maps. We saw cool martial arts movements kind of hinting at a mysticism or powerful martial arts group. Here we just see pirates, and I'm kind of like, come on, I wanted to see better. The reason I think they did it is because the Wu Lin still aren't a very respected or enjoyed faction in the game yet. I still think people don't really, don't really feel attracted to the Wu Lin like I am, and maybe For Honor dev developers are afraid of that. So they said, let's create something that will still attract people to the game and to the season by throwing in something familiar, which would be Caribbean pirates, stereotypical pirates. And that way people are still drawn into the season and can enjoy it. Maybe there are some people who are totally fine with that. But for me personally, as a historian and someone who really, really likes um, Asian history, I wanted to see some more thematic stuff for that. But what I want to make this video more than anything to say is whatever happens, I want to come into it with an upbeat, optimistic personality. I want to come at it with the most optimistic um, viewpoint I can. We're getting a new hero, which is great news. I'm excited. The look so far is kind of cool. I did say that it reminded me too much of an Assassin's Creed character with the hood and all that. But you know what? Still could be awesome. I'm willing to wait it out and see what they come up with. So let's be optimistic. If it really is based on who I think it is, then this is going to be really, really awesome, even if the theme of the season doesn't really fit with her arrival. But still, I'm excited to see her. I'm excited for what the season brings. I just was disappointed in how they put their foot forward. It's kind of like you should start with your best foot forward. I don't think they put their best foot forward in terms of the theme of the season. And that's just me. Maybe you enjoyed it, and I'm glad you enjoyed it. There's always, I know that there are people out there who really liked this opening, who really liked this trailer. I'm glad you did. I enjoyed a lot of stuff, heard a lot of good things out of the stream. I just wanted to clarify what my issue was, because I had a lot of people asking me later, hey, what was the big deal, man? Why were you upset about a pirate hero? I thought that you would be excited for this. And I am. I am very excited. I was just disappointed because I was off-put by the way the hero was introduced versus the way the theme was fitting. But that's neither here nor there. I wanted to clarify that and explain. I am incredibly excited for what's coming. I can't wait to see what they do with it. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be bad. But either way, when it comes out, I will be happy. All right, guys. Thanks for hearing me out. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care.